And as they gear up for this challenge on the road, a look at the Cavaliers. These guys mean business. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. NBA action is coming up. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. And a look at the starters for the Cavaliers. At the guard positions, it's Garland and Mitchell. And at the forward positions, Okoro and Mobley. And it's MP in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Indiana, the backcourt pair for him, Halliburton and Brown. Walker out there with Miles Turner, and it's healed in at the three, the small forward. Well, how long does all of your off-season rest usually last you at the start of the regular season? Like, like, when do you start to really feel the games again? You know, the fatigue comes at you fast, Kevin. So that rested feeling only lasts about a couple weeks. Nothing wears you out like playing NBA ball. There's Brown with the three. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. They are coming into this having notched a win against the Knicks in their last game. The mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. Boy, you know, it takes character, poise, toughness to win on the road, and that's exactly what they showed last game. Shot clock at three. Puts one up from 19. Misses off the left iron. Indiana's gone 0-2 from deep here. Now, here is Halliburton. Guarded close. The kick out to Brown. Healed against Garland. Over in the corner, Turner. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Mitchell in the corner. To the paint. And MP with the basket on the assist by Mitchell. How about MP powering through the contact, keeping that focus on the task at hand. Outside Turner fires the three, cans it from downtown. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Garland to the inside, and MP throws it down. A superb pass from Garland. He's all for setting up his teammates. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Garland against Halliburton. On the wing, Turner fires the three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Halliburton. Turner's got a couple of threes now in the first for Indiana. Oh, Greg, there's a lot of impressive things about Tyrese Halliburton, most notably how efficient he is. Yeah, Kevin, those percentages are terrific. But not only that, he's phenomenal at it, making sure he keeps his teammates involved. Just a remarkable young point guard. Now here's Turner. Yep, it counts. Turner's got eight points. Nice start as he's knocked down three of his first four and has hit the ground at high speed. Down low. MP, no good. And here's Heald. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. Here's Halliburton. Evan Mobley with the rebound. Cavaliers have gone three of five, shooting the ball so far. To the middle. Crafty move. MP inside. Turner covering. MP, no good. Indiana leading. Down kicks to Halliburton. Brown deciding where to go with it. Over Mitchell. Mobley against Walker. Down to five on the shot clock. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Here's Halliburton. Cavaliers with the rebound. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. <laughs> and that's good as he hits both of his shots. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Healed outside. Turner with a screen for Halliburton. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. Halliburton right in his comfort zone, operating the pick and roll. Excellent, excellent at taking what he sees. Inside. 
And MP throws it down. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Indiana's gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter to the inside. Up and in for the basket, number four. That makes him four for five now. Boy, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm, and he's really riding that wave right now. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. Looking at the last game for the Indiana Pacers, it was a loss to Boston. Brown the pass to Halliburton. Turner with a screen on Garland. Here's Halliburton. And the rejection by MP. Mobley outside. And MP throws it down. Hey, this guy does everything. Any team will be lucky to have a player like MP. Halliburton against Garland. Brown with a screen on Garland. Here's Halliburton. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Hey, Clark, thinking back to that Halliburton for Sabonis trade, what are your thoughts? I think it's one of those situations where it was a win-win all the way around, Greg. You think about it. The Kings benefited, the Pacers did. Young players that have stardom in their future. And I think both players are going to be multi-time All-Stars. MP sets the screen for Garland. The second effort, and MP with the layup. MP's got 14 points. Okay, go ahead and flex on him, MP. Nice hustle for that second chance bucket. Garland against Halliburton to the middle. And Walker kicks to heel. Pass to Halliburton. Indiana moving the ball. Brown wide open. He fires. Offline with his three. Cavaliers leading, and the pass to Okoro. Mobley outside. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. Here's Brown after the made shot from Evan Mobley. Halliburton with it. He's picked up by Mobley. This is it to Halliburton. He tries for three. The Cavaliers pull it in. MP's got rebound number five here tonight. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. T.J. McConnell, he's checked in for Halliburton. The switch here also for Cleveland. Lavert's checked in for Donovan Mitchell. Pacers trail by six. Healed outside. Puts up a three. It's hauled in by MP. MP throws it down. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. Down low, here's Turner, and he can't stop the run as he misses. The Cavaliers leading by eight. Levert finds MP. Picks it out to Garland. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. McConnell passes to Walker. Stolen by Okoro. And the dunk by MP. And now it's a 10-point Cavalier lead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The solo alley-oop? <laughs> that, that's not something we see too often. Uh, time perfectly. Caught the defense totally off guard. Tell you what, the coach's heart was in his throat and he was in shock and all. But now he's got a big smile on his face. Because you have to respect that outside shot. The, the drive is often there for heel. MV with a screen on McConnell. Garland, no good. You know, he might want to think about deferring for a while. He's had his chances this quarter, but just not able to convert. Three-pointer heel. Cavaliers with the rebound. 
Mobley's got his fourth rebound in this one. And stolen by McConnell. And the foul called on MP. That We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. So on the floor for Cleveland. Allen is out there with MP. Then there's Karis LeVert. And it's Mitchell. And it's Okoro in at the small forward. MP accepts and embraces that contact extremely well on the way up. Nice little crafty pump fake, too. Hey, Special K, in your playing days, you were such a strong defender. Who was the toughest player you had to guard? Hey, I appreciate the love, partner, but strong defender attached to my name back in the day would not mix well, if we're talking truth. But I will tell you, the hardest guy I had to deal with was Bernard King. He gave me fits. He was relentless in his pursuit of the pumpkin. They ran a bunch of stuff for him when he was playing for the Knicks, and that dude could put it in the basket. Kicks it out to Mitchell. To the paint. Second chance shot. MP finds Allen. Back to MP. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Jarris Walker. You guys, a big part of what makes him be special is his incredible work ethic. This is a guy who's just always in hustle mode every play, trying to do more for his team. And Indiana making a change here. Turner's checked in. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Max Cruz has checked in for Karis LeVert. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Here's MP. They shoot again. Pass to Okoro. A three-pointer is right on target. Okoro's got the lead up to 12 now for the Cavs. Round against Drews. Walker is screen on Struess. Mitchell against Halliburton. Shot clock at six. From past the arc, sinks the triple. Halliburton's got seven. Halliburton, with the answer, was anxious to throw it right back at him. Inside, MP. And MP throws it down. Yeah, a nice, strong finish on the inside. But, Greg, that's what he does. He's got the dunker mentality. An absolutely tremendous athlete able to go up and finish over the biggest of defenders. Now, here's Toppin. He's coming off a 13-point game against Boston. It's a plus-five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Here's Okoro. They lead by 11. MP sets the screen for Mitchell. Allen up top, MP outside. MP to the rack. The shot comes out. Good work defensively by Turner. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Kevin, thank you. Donovan Mitchell has fit in great with the Cavaliers. Coach J.B. Bickerstaff said he's unbelievable. Always uplifting, positive, thinking about other people first. And to me, that's more important than all this put the ball in the basket stuff. Those are the types of people you want to surround yourself with. Kevin? Oh, David, that is outstanding. Thank you so much. And Clark, when we take a look at your former team, the Indiana Pacers, is it fair to say they're a work in progress? Most definitely, Kevin. I mean, I think they've got some really outstanding young talent as well as a very experienced coaching staff. That combination should bode well for the Pacers' future. Cleveland leading by eight. To the inside, here's MP, and the dunk by MP. I think that's on the defense there. I mean, MP given ideal positioning inside and able to take full advantage of it. And the dunk by Walker. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. 
One hand, whole punt. Heels checked in for the Pacers. Mobley, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Garland comes in for Mitchell. Here's Brown. Off on the way up. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Well, they're working the glass, really battling in that area of the game, and um, that's helped them stake this lead. Pacers trail by eight. Turner with a screen on Garland. Unloads from 13. Here's Walker. Lays it up off the glass. Walker's got four this quarter. The motor of Walker keeping the possession alive, fighting for those points. Garland, the pass to MP. And the dunk by MP. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent pass. The Pacers shooting 38% in the second quarter. Offensively, they look a little bit confused. Halliburton against Garland. And the shot goes in. Halliburton's got nine points. That's one of the things his coaches have encouraged him to do. Look for the mid-range jumper, Tyrese. Way to knock it down. Here's MP. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. But let's see if he can eventually get back on track. No one near Turner as he lets it go. That's good. And it's Halliburton with the assist. Halliburton's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Down low. Halliburton with the steal. And here we go. Halliburton heading to the hoop. And Halliburton slams it in. Talk about self-service. Halliburton doing it all by himself that time. Inside, MP gets it. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Garland against Halliburton. Turner with a screen for Halliburton. To the middle. That is good. The Cavaliers lead cut down to a single point after the basket from Turner. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. With how well Garland scores it in that pick and roll, the roller should always be open. The 11 footer. And it's Halliburton missing. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. Cavaliers making a switch here. Rubio's checked in. And the Pacers with possession here. It's a three-point game. Halliburton passes to heel, and Turner kicks to heel. Three-pointer. Nailed from three-point land. Heald's got five now. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. And here's Carlin for three. It's rebounded by Indiana. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot-making is not happening right now. That those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Brown right side. Wants to get it to Turner and does. And the rejection by MP. Twelve seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Halliburton outside. Turner with a screen on Garland. Halliburton for three. And that rejection has to get MP's blood pumping. Defensive stops like that really make an impact. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. It's the Pacers. They lead by a bucket. Live from Cambridge Fieldhouse, you're watching 2K Sports. Hi, everybody. We've got your favorite segment on tap as we check out how the Eastern Conference is shaping up. 
And now, let's get into the Indiana Pacers game. It's been a close one so far. Obviously, the bench gave them a big... Thanks for spending halftime with us. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. Well, with the double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. The backcourt pair for him, Halliburton and Brown. Heald is out there with Walker, and it's Turner in at the five. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Here's Halliburton. It's hauled in by MP. MP's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Oh, that's blocked. Brown the pass to Halliburton. Turner with a screen on Garland. And it's Halliburton missing. Talk about hurting your team. I mean, he just can't get anything to go out there. Inside, MP. The rebound by Turner. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. Pass to Brown. And there's the pass to Turner. Six to shoot. And a wide open look for Halliburton. That doesn't go either for Halliburton. Or Cleveland, they've gone one of three since starting the second half. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. On its way from Turner for two. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Ugh, ugly start to the second half. They've missed their first four. They've got to get on track. Near the three-point line, it's Mitchell. Here's MP. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Oh, that's a really nice job from MP to invite the contact and then get to the line. And both free throws good for MP. For Indiana, they've gone 0-4 from the field in the second half. Yet to find the mark. Brown dishes to heel. Pass to Halbert. Some nice passing here by Indiana. And the rejection by MP. Garland, the pass to Mobley. Back to Garland. To the inside. Shoots from the right block. MP, no good. Indiana's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Spins. They need this one. And the rejection by MP. Out of bounds. Pacers ball as Indiana keeps possession. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. And stolen by MP. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Here's Mitchell. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. That's 10 points for Donovan Mitchell. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Heald finds Brown. Heald sets the pick for Brown. Pass to Halliburton. Six on the shot clock. Launches it. And it's MP with the rebound. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. Garland with the bucket. Oh, that's a great setup by MP. This guy is as unselfish as they come. Now, here is Halliburton. He's got 11. Now, 
here's Heald. He's guarded closer. Out to Turner. Corner shot. Yep, that one goes in there. Turner's got 19 points. Boy, Turner's really good at picking the defense apart, especially with the catch-and-shoot jumper. Clark, here we are looking at Miles Turner, a terrific player. What stands out to you? There are a couple of things. His ability to knock down three-point shots as a big guy, but more than that, his primary attribute to me is the fact he's an outstanding rim protector. Excellent timing, runs the floor, and really protects the basket for his team. Oh, why dunk you very much. <laughs> he, can, he can really fly, and you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too, and you've got two points. A lot of bounce ability there, guys. I mean, well above the rim. That's what makes him dangerous. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. And it's Mitchell with the jam. And there's an edge to Mitchell's game. He wants to be the guy in charge, and if that means he's got to get physical, he'll do it. Now here's Turner. 21 points in the game. Halliburton kicks to Turner. MP grabs the miss. MP's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. The aggressiveness of Mitchell. Willing to take on the entire team to earn that foul. All right, we'll take a look now. Now the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. You know, all game long, they've imposed their will on the interior. Scoring a lot of points in the painted area. And you can't ignore their passing. All game long, they've done a great job of just delivering the ball in rhythm right where it needs to be. Pacers trail by five. McConnell passes to Turner. Left side, Walker. And the dunk by Walker. When Jarris Walker stuffs it, we feel those bucks over here. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers to the paint. MP dishes to Allen. Garland surveying the D. In the corner, Okoro with it. Here's MP. And denied! He sends it right off the glass. Outside Turner for the tie. And the rejection by MP! And that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain possession. McConnell kicks to Walker. Over MP. And how about the energy on D from MP? Making a clear difference on that end. Down low. Uses the glass to finish the lane. MP's got 36. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. McConnell finds Brown. Here's Heal. Here's McConnell. Outside, Walker. Lock at six. Walker missing again. The Cavaliers leading by five. MP passes to Allen. Back to MP. Outside, Garland. Allen, a screen on McConnell. To the paint. And slam dunk by Allen. Boy, nice mobility from the five. Allen is very active offensively. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Brown the pass to McConnell. Back to Brown. McConnell with screen on Mitchell. Brown against Mitchell. A three ball. Brown, no good. Cavaliers have gotten half their shots to drop in the second half up to this point, going 7 of 14. Here's MP, the rebound by Turner. Turner's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. To the middle, here's Walker, and finished off by Walker. Nice timing on these jumps. He's somewhat on the small side for a power forward, but he just never gives up. Team. Court. 
game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. And it's Mitchell missing. It does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, they've got Donovan Mitchell. MP out there with the coral. Then there's Karis LeVert. And it's Allen in at the five down low. Now here's Halliburton. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. McConnell's got assist number five here tonight. This guy knows how to get it done. He knows what he's doing out there. A nice job from the three-point line this half. MP inside. Been covering. And the dunk by MP. Man, he sure can get off the floor. He's one of the best in the business, absolutely. Boy, he makes it look easy. He is an absolutely imposing finisher around the rim. Now, here's McConnell. Aston Smith. It's Turner high post. In the corner, it's Toppin. Clock at four. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for the Indiana Pacers. On Saturday, they'll be matching up against Gordon Hayward and the Charlotte Hornets. And then on Monday, they'll defend home court against the San Antonio Spurs. Now, here's MP. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Back to MP. In the corner, Okoro with it. Fires from deep. And it's Mitchell missing. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Here's the pass to McConnell. He kicks it to Turner. Passes to Halliburton. And there it is for him. Halliburton's got the lead up to 10 now for the Pacers. Like the way Halliburton continues to take more responsibility on the offensive end. His game warrants that he does that. Now here's Okoro. He's guarded closely. Levert against Halliburton. Here's MP. That misses off the backboard. Pacers leading by 10. Neesmith, the pass to McConnell. Halliburton against Levert. Again with the block. You've got to have a better effort against him. Sending back everything. The shot by Mitchell, no good. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Steps back. Toppin. Good defense by MP. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. It's going to be Allen shooting. It goes on Aaron Neesmith. Quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Indiana. Well, I think they've been lethal from beyond the arc this game. No doubt about it. Hard to defend such spot-on shooting. And tonight, we've also seen a lot of great play from them inside. They've been consistent in terms of attacking the interior of this deep. Boy, you know, you look at the raw athleticism of Allen. Very enticing. I mean, he's a quick-footed, shot-blocking big guy. He's got a great future in this league, in my opinion. Now here's Turner. Outside, Walker. Launches a three. That ball. Nice speed that time from Turner. Turner's got three assists in the game. MP dishes to Allen. And here's Garland for three. Traps in the tray. Garland striking back at the arc, putting his competitiveness on display. Indiana leading by seven. Halliburton looking around. And the foul called on Jared Allen. And that'll be his third foul so far. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. Mobley, he's checked in for Allen. Now here's Walker to the inside. And the rejection by MP. Inside, it's tipped. It's stolen by Heel. Pass to Halliburton. The kick out to Walker from deep. Cavaliers with the rebound. Mobley's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's a Coro. His three-pointers off the mark. 
And here's Heald. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. Pass to Halliburton. Kick out to Walker. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. The Cavaliers trail by seven to the inside. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. And, and smarter Garland to stay flexible. Finding a teammate instead of forcing that one. Halliburton with it. Garland picks him up. The pass to Walker. Now here's Heald. Here's Turner. Indiana again missing. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Here's a Kuro. And a miss there on the triple. Pacers leading by five. Here's Halliburton. Mobley with the rebound. Mobley's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Outside Garland. Mobley sets the pick for Garland. Knocks down the three ball. Now just a two-point pacer lead. No three-pointers for him in that first half, but the second half, different story. Timeout called the Pacers. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on Rick Carlisle's huddle. Now, they preached the little things in the huddle. They asked their team to battle on those 50-50 balls. One extra possession could be all the difference. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by MP. Shot by Heald. Nobody around. The Cavalier is shooting from the field. 44%, not bad. Here's MP. In the corner, Okoro with it. That shot is off. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. What a big-time play by Tyrese Halliburton. Simply putting his team on his back. Garland against Halliburton. Garland, no good. And that shot isn't the one they should be taking if they want to make this comeback happen. Walker with a screen for heel. Outside, Walker. Back to heel. Down low. Here's Turner. That shot off the mark. Good defense by MP. Dishes to Garland. Back to MP. Turner with the steal. And it's Halliburton penetrating. Out to Turner. Jacks up a three. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. And it's an eight-point pacer lead. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. You know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. To the middle. Cavaliers moving the ball around. Mitchell passes to MP. Fires it up. And it's sent back by Turner. Oh, these arms of Turner just go on forever. I mean, which is part of the reason he's able to rack up the block shots that he does. Now, here's Brown. Six to shoot. Brown with a screen on Garland. Walker in the corner. Heald from outside. Mobley with the rebound. Now here's Okoro, guarded by Walker. On the wing, Mitchell. Back to MP. On the wing, Mitchell. Three-pointer. Good! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Big time play there from Mitchell. Remember, he's been the go-to guy since his rookie year. And Turner kicks to heel, and that's an intentional foul. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. And now we've got the intentional foul. Second personal foul. 
15 five. At the line. For the so the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. Second one is good. we both at the line. It's a seven-point game. You know, important for him to come through at the line there because they want to expand that lead. So no problem for Indiana as they get the win. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy.